right at the Fieldhouse 11th and Gilbert. Special moment of the show here today. Because we have a legend that's uh, amongst us, Martinez. Yes. The great Bernie Perron is here, ladies and gentlemen. Bernie, how you doing, buddy? Thank you, you are Michael. The, always Good great to see, to see you. You bring, you bring this cheerful spirit to everybody. Well, you know what? I feel if you love people, people will love you back. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a wonderful way to live. I love it. And, and, Life is good. and, and, you're, and we'll talk about your, your your kind of like life coaching these days and doing things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just so uh, right. Sh just sh sharing my uh, philosophy that is working for me. All right. So your philosophy basically is what? Just what? happiness. Happiness. Yeah. Make if you want to be successful, it's up to you. You go out there and just say, you know, if I come up and say I want to be successful. It's not, not going to work. happen. Uh -huh. But if I say, I want to be successful, I'm going to do it, uh -huh. that's going to happen. There you go. Martinez, that's see, all these years, you would have had Bernie's philosophy. <laughs> you know, all you I had to do was the ring. Exactly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, now, now you're here with your doctor, Dr. Stevens Davis, one of the great cosmetic doctors in, in the area. And uh, I saw you, I, I actually saw this on TV. It was on uh, Fox 29. I saw yeah. you guys, a little piece there. And, and, and Bernie, you, you had a problem. For most of your life, and it's called gyno, uh, gynecomastia, gynecomastia, where you know, the, the, the male breasts get a little you know, saggy. They get you know, a little chunky. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's saggy for a long time. <laughs> yeah, and you, were, and you were saying you were, always, you were always ashamed of it, and you would leave your yep. shirt on all the time. Yep, I wouldn't go to, to uh, the beach. You know, I missed out some beautiful days with my kids. And my grandkids, for that matter, not going to the beach, you know, and, um, and the doctors uh, uh, create uh, miracles uh, and has solved the problem. It, it is really amazing to think the advancements in cosmetic surgery, Dr. Davis. It, it really is. It, it, tell, tell a little bit about this because there's a lot of people, a lot of men that are listening right now have the same problem and they're afraid to deal with it or whatever, and you have come up that this is kind of a simple way to deal with it, it right? Is. You know, we see kids at the age of like 14 to 17 that start coming in with their parents, talking about like in the locker room and stuff, they start to see like the appearance of female breasts on them. And after a while, sometimes it burns off because it's like a baby fat. But if you talk to Bernie, he's like a lot of other guys that really have had it for so many years, and it's really never going to go away. And it doesn't matter how you, how you hard you work out or how you know bench press or whatever, exactly. it's not going to work out. He's an you athlete. Got, that's he's it. He's a you trained athlete. Yeah. Here, you know. So I mean, what else do you have to say? But. Everybody used to think the only way to fix it is to do surgery. And I think that's when people go, you know what, I'll wear the shirt on the beach. I'm not going to have surgery. Uh -huh. But with this cool sculpting technique, we literally can put this applicator on the chest and the applicator freezes the fat in that area, takes an hour to do, and then over the course of about three to four weeks, your body kind of just does away with it. It kind of, you know, excretes it. And in that area, you don't have that fatty looking chest. So when anymore. you freeze it, then you kind of push it away and the body absorbs it or the body will naturally absorb it? it the body's going to naturally absorb it because what's happening is you're really getting that fat to be so frozen that it becomes like necrotic, almost like it's just dies out. Die. Uh -huh. And then your body kind of excretes it as it would if you had a big uh, French fry meal and stuff uh -huh. like that, where you're going to deal with fat anyway. That's how your body deals with uh, the fat. Now, wow. when, when this came to you, Bernie, what, what did you think? And uh, you know, when you, you, you started to undergo it, were you ambivalent around it? Did you think it was going to be like, well, where was your mindset when this uh, started well, to happen? <clears throat> the risk and fear. You know, you, you yeah. have to take the risk. You know, take the risk, and and uh, you know, I, you know what, it, it it got to a point where I had enough of running away. I had enough, and I said, hey, this is a great opportunity to march forward. And my God, it is. And you know, with all his motivational speaking and everything else about happiness, this kind of dovetails wow. right into what he's talking about. Because if it really is something that bothers you as much as it does, why not go out and do something, especially now that it's really not a surgical type of thing? Now, sometimes we talked about the ability to do it surgically or mm -hmm. non-surgically. And, you know, Bernie chose the non-surgical route because he can go right to the gym afterwards. All right. So so how does this actually work? Do you, you put a, is it a vest, a jacket, or are you just... It looks like a gigantic suction cup mm -hmm. and it applies to the area again it could be on your love handles it could be uh, uh, so this works anywhere wherever you have fatty deposits that's it if just so that area can grab that zone and it's like a suction cup and f it starts to get really cold over the course of about three to five minutes and then the area just gets numb and then you sit there 
on your computer, on a phone, doing whatever you want to do for about an hour or so, and you're done. So the first three minutes, for oh. first three to five minutes, they only put an ice bag on something. You can't take the cold. That's exactly you have to, you have right. to get through that. Once you get through that, so well. it's like an ice bag that it's also like a blood pressure cuff that first gets on and it's really tight. That's the way it feels, and then it kind of just gets numb and you're done. Now, and, and during this whole thing, you've also lost like 55 pounds, right? You look, you look as good as, as you. I, I mean, you're amazing looking right I now. Know. Well, thank wait, you. Now, how did you lose all this weight, and what's your regiment now? Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, you you have to make a decision to lose the weight. Okay, it's you know, I, I lost I lost the weight because I wanted to be healthy. You know, I I believe in vision. I believe in purpose. If you don't have a purpose, you're not going to do it. You know, you do it for maybe for short term, and then you'll quit. You know, you, you have to have a vision. My vision. I'm 69 years old. I want to have quality of life. You know, I want to have fun in life. And, you know, I feel better now than when I was 50. You're still having a lot of fun, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh. Bopping yeah. around from here to there. I'm, you know, you I, I, I love, I'd love to be diversified. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd love to be diversified. Now, now, let, let me ask why, while, while, I, while I have you here, i got to ask yeah. you about the Flyers and what you see right now at the Flyers. A lot of, a lot of fans are very confused as to what's going on with this team and how good they are. What's what's going on with the Flyers in your view? That that, that is a heck of a question, Michael. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they, you know, when um, with the Flyers we have a good young team, okay, and and we have to remember. I understand the world today. People want to have a turnkey situation. You know, you want to have a winner today. And sometimes you have to wait a little bit. You know, we have some good young players. We have a great young goalie in Mason. You like him? You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, love, you know, I, I love a lot of things about him. We have young defense. You know, young defense. We have a young core of forwards. So, you know, it's not like how many years, you know, you have a, a good goalie when you have old forwards. You have younger forwards and older goalie. Right now, we have a whole team coming up. And, um, if, if, you know, if people say, is there room for improvement? Of course. But I think they're going in the right direction. How many shutouts did you have in your career? You have a calculator? Because <laughs> I'm going to ask you, how many shutouts would you have had had you been able to wear the pads they wear today? <laughs> oh, jeez. I had, I had 52. 52. 52 shutouts. Yeah, wow. With the pads. Yeah. With the, the pads, pads. Yeah. with the new pads, they would have been over a hundred. Would be <laughs> four or five hundred. <laughs> I got you. Well, listen, good luck, Doctor Doctor Davis. Yeah, you, you you can look check out his website at davis.cps.com. He has offices in Cherry Hill, Philadelphia, Northfield, New Jersey. Davis Cosmetic Plastic Surgery. For anybody who is listening to us who's interested in the, the cool sculpting method to get rid of the fat, it's a great way to do it. Thank you. That's Thanks true. for coming out, Doctor Thank Davis. Thank you, Bernie. Thank always you. a pleasure to see you, man. It's my pleasure, my friend. All right, buddy. Take care. Six one zero six three two zero nine seven five. Mike Pesnell show continues after this.